Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. Today I want to demonstrate how you can enable Cloudflare inside of your cPanel account for any domain hosted with NameHero. You may be familiar, but Cloudflare is a, a um, premium DNS service that helps protect your website from um, distributed denial of service attacks and it also speeds it up. It makes it faster um, for your traffic to access your content and to um, view your site overall. It's very simple and easy to set up, and you don't have to go to cloudflare.com. You can do everything from inside a cPanel. So let me show you how to do it. The first thing you want to do is log into your Name Hero account. So we're going to go to account and log in. I'm going to use my demo at namehero.com account and log in. Once I'm inside of our interface, I want to click on cloud web hosting. Next, I want to select the package of the domain that I want to enable it on. I'm going to use my basic plus package for HalloweenCostumeBlog.com and we're going to go to enable that one. So once I get in here to the dashboard for this site, I'll click on login to cPanel. This will take me in and now I want to look for Cloudflare. So I'll just start typing. You can see I get the CL and it comes right up. Okay, now if you have a Cloudflare account already, you can simply log in, which I've got one, so I'm already logged in. If you don't have a Cloudflare account, then you need to register. It's free, but um, that just registers your email address and password with Cloudflare, so they have your details. Um, so if you don't have one, go ahead and just click. There'll be a registration link right here. Just click and register. I think you have to validate your email to make sure that you are who you say you are. But once you do so, you can come back to here, and you can see that Cloudflare is inactive on the domain. So we're going to provision it with the CNAME setup. Just takes a couple of seconds here to activate. And there we go. Now we're active. And if you get this client response error, just ignore that. Um, it's a false positive on one of the recent updates, but it still does work and it's all good. So now you can look here and these are your DNS records. So these are where you're going to make changes to your, where you're going to make changes inside a cPanel. But here's the records that are using Cloudflare. So you can see the ones that are highlighted orange are routing through Cloudflare. So now the domain, the main domain, is routing right through it. So if we wanted to um, enable some of these, then we would just click here, and it would enable Cloudflare on those as well. Um, but once enabled, it is enabled and, and ready to go. You've got a couple different screens here. You've got just your overview page, which is um, just shows you have the, the free plan from Cloudflare. You can buy the um, upgraded plan from them, which I believe includes an SSL certificate. But remember, all SSL certificates are free and automatic at Name Heroes, so you don't have to really do that. It's all free. You have an analytics page, though, and this will show you some um, requests that come to the page. You can see your bandwidth and see how much um, you, know, you use and your unique visitors to the site. Uh, and then it shows the threats that's brought. And this is a new domain, so there's not a lot of data. But as you start to get more data in here, you'll see this. Um, you can click on security. And um, it just, I believe it wants you to use here. So if we go under attack, we'd want to enable I'm under attack mode. Okay. So that's going to um, that's gonna put that um, on there. And when you go to your site, it's going to do additional checks to make sure that the traffic is um, legitimate. We can go to performance and we can we can see a couple more things. Um, always online, if the server ever goes off, then this will load a, an old cache version of your page. I like to keep that on. Um, we like to keep IPv6 on. If you don't know what that means, just leave it default. Caching level, we keep that standard. If you don't know what that means, leave it. You can auto minify your JavaScript, CSS, and HTML. That's a good idea if you want to speed up your, your site. If you have any errors, though, after you do this, you might want to come back and disable that. Um, this is the Railgun, and we talk about this in another video. If you want to enable this, it's going to make your site even faster. Um, but I do know that some PHP scripts have trouble logging sessions with Railgun enabled. So um, you might want to check it out, and if you have any problems, then you might want to disconnect it. Development mode is really important because Cloudflare caches your page. So if you're making design changes um, and they don't show up live, you need to come in here and trigger on development mode. That way that um, you can see the most recent changes and it doesn't cache it. You can see you can set the cache to cache for four hours. Um, and you can go shorter or longer. And basically that's one of Cloudflare's main features is it caches your site. So when people load it, it doesn't take forever to pull the server. It's already cached. And of course, you can purge the cache um, right here. 
Um, but those are the main things to do. Um, they've got their support, which will go into their um, documents here. Of course, you can always ask us at Name Hero. You know, if you have a problem, you can always go back to us, and you know, we'll help you out. Um, but sometimes Cloudflare makes you do support directly through them, so our support may advise that you, um, you know, you go back to them and um, and get that from them. But um, that's that's as pretty simple as it gets. And you know, you can go check out your your sites. We can go to Halloween Costume Blog here and. Um, let me pull it up a browser window. Whoops. And tried to go to the, tried to search Google instead of going to my log. So you can see this is the, um, the attack page. So since I enabled, I'm under attack, it's going to show that before it loads the site. Um, that, and that will keep the d distributed denial of service attack down. Um, and so we're going to get a couple errors here too, because we just um, provisioned Cloudflare. So we have to let the new SSL certificate reset. So if you are using SSL um, and you just enable Cloudflare, you kind of have to give it a little bit so everything gets um, straightened back out, so to speak. So the certificate reissues. And you can always ask our team to do that for you. And we can, we can no problem. It just takes us a second um, to reissue that so you don't get that forbidden error. But if we remove the HTTPS, we should be, um, we should be just fine. Um, but that's just once you enable Cloudflare, you need us to reissue the certificate. If you have any questions, feel free to let us know. But in a nutshell, that's how you enable Cloudflare on your domain. And that's how you get up and running with it. Um, it's pretty simple, easy integration. And um, things run pretty quickly with it. Um, feel free to ask any questions on the video below. But thanks a bunch, everyone. We look forward to serving you and all your Cloudflare needs.